So I've been riding for about five years now and since the very beginning wearing all the gear all the time has been super important to me and as a result I've collected quite a bit of gear uh, totally unintentionally I never intended to have uh, six jackets um, I don't know how many helmets I have right now and I don't know how many gloves I have so I thought it'd be fun to go through them and show you what I have and why I decided to get each of the items, how I ended up with them. And, hmm, I think I'll just do helmets today. You are with me right now in my home office. This is my, this is my chair made out of E90 seat, made by Caleb. Some cube shelving. This is our setup, um, and then this is the motor closet. So the helmets up top, jackets, and then shoes and gloves. This is my AGV K3 SV. SV stands for sun visor. This was my main helmet. I like it because it's super loud. It catches a lot of attention on the road, which is a good thing for me. I want to be noticed. I don't want people to, or other drivers to not see me. It's a Rossi design. I don't know what year or anything like that. I'm not super into MotoGP. I try to get into it, but oh, it just makes me so nervous. I don't want anyone to crash. Anyway, the Italian colors to match my bike. This is um, this is kind of an extra helmet. I used to wear this onto campus. It's the Sidichi something, I don't know. I used to wear this to campus so I could just leave it on my bike and not be mad if it got stolen. Uh, it fits well, uh, no visor, so can't go really fast. But I really appreciate this feature, the little reflective material at the base of the helmet and tell me why these air vents kind of look like like cat ears at certain angles <laughs> it's kind of cute as i'm editing i realized i forgot to talk about my main helmet which is this one it's the agv k1 in matte black you probably know somebody with this helmet it's super common um i just keep it in my living room which is probably why i forgot to mention it. I use it so often. It's my go-to helmet. This one's not my helmet. It's my dad's. It's an Arai. Oh, it's so cool though. I'll just show it to you. This is a vintage shoey helmet. I love the colors. Black and gold. The shape is super cute. So retro. I have ideas on how I want to use this. Probably not for actual safety, but maybe for photo shoots. This is my shoey. Something 12 X12 RX. The something. That's an older model. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I hate this helmet. It is. I got it thinking it would match my bike, the color, but then I realized I don't really like. I like pinstripes, but not these ones. And I like yellow, but not this yellow. And I like shoeys, but not this shoey. This, just, this helmet leaves me unsatisfied and kind of annoyed. If you want it, let me know. I'll sell it to you. It's been in great condition because it stays in this corner forever. This is the helmet for the dirt bike. Originally, my brother's, but now it fits me better. This is Caleb's shoey. He only has one helmet. He only uses this one. This is all he needs. He loves that helmet. And then this is the open face helmet. I've never worn it. My dad got it, but I've never seen him wear it either. Not even gonna bring it out. And then I actually have one more helmet, which is not in my closet right now because I have a friend borrowing it. She had her bike at my house after fixing the chain. 
but didn't bring her gears, so I sent her home with uh, a, it's an Indian helmet, and I think Bell makes it. That's just my guess, based on how similar it is to the Gringo. Um, it's kind of more like a cafe racer retro style helmet. Um, I like the visibility. I like I like the feel, I guess, but also not because it just tunnels wind up through your chin. Like. It, there's no point in having the visor down because it just blows air straight into your eyeballs. So here's the helmet. Sarah gave it back to me. It is really cute. It's a nice helmet. Uh, it was gifted to me after shooting for the or modeling for the 2021 Indian FTR 1200. This is the helmet I used. I would love to see what this helmet looks like with a different visor. So I guess with my helmets, I noticed that I pretty much stay in my comfort zone with the AGB and Shoei helmets. I would like to get different types of helmets. I have different helmets for different looks, like the matte black one, and then the colorful one, and then like the retro one by Indian. But what about like different functionalities? I want to try a helmet that is really good in the wind or long distances, I want to try a helmet that, um, maybe, you know what, I, I'm realizing as I'm talking that I don't know much about helmets. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more out there, so I'd like to try them out. I'm looking forward to knowing a little bit more about helmets. And I want to know what my options are too, instead of just sticking with, like, the name brand or, like, you know, the first thing you see when you walk into a Cycle Gear or click on Revzilla. So, I'll keep you updated on that. Just another excuse to get more.